This is new script of Blizzard amazing hate speech of Greta Thunberg about Donald Trump, how dare you. The world has been watching you, and now it's time to show them what you are made of. It doesn't matter if he loses or wins, the point is we're going to see who really runs this country. And I'm not talking about his policies either. We'll see how many people will submit to being ruled by a bigoted bigot. Crowd roars, oh no. He didn't win? Well then let's see how many people will submit to being ruled by a bigoted bigot with a small brain. Crowd roars, oh no. He lost. Then let's see how many people will submit to being ruled by a bigoted bigot who can barely think straight. Crowd roars, oh no. He's president? Great, now we know who our real enemies are. Now let us all unite behind him in his fight against these enemies of humanity. Crowd roars, oh no. He's not president yet? Great, now we know who our true friends are. Now let us all stand together in support of this man as he fights for the survival of the human race. Crowd roars, oh no. He's already out of office? Great, now we know who our real allies are. Let us all unite behind this man as he continues to fight against those that would destroy it. Crowd roars, oh wait a minute, he's still here? Let us all unite together in order to force him out of office. Crowd roars, now you know why I'm scared of this girl. She's a walking, talking, climate change activist propelled refutation to the ideology I've dedicated my life to, and there's nothing I can do about it except slander her with every insult I can think of. That's right Greta, you want to make the world a better place for future generations? Let's see you survive to adulthood in this day and age. So what if I'm a little controversial, so what if I'm a little outspoken, so what if I'm a little abrasive? A lot of good it would do anyone to attack me, right? I'm a high school dropout who somehow landed a job working on cars. Who am I to have any sway over the future of anything? There are no winners, there are no lose when it comes to an issue as big as climate change. It's not a competition. Of course, I'd never say that in public. I'm not a complete idiot. But you know what? You're looking at the next best thing. I'm a minion, a lackey, a bootlick, a court jester, a factotum, an underling, a subordinate. Basically I'm the guy that's going to take one for the team and do all the real work while people like Greta get all the attention. People always talk about how our generation is apathetic. Apathetic my spherical posterior. We know the truth, we've just got more sense than to go shouting it out loud. Because at the end of the day, what will all of this protesting do? Nothing. Nothing will change. The earth is still going backwards. There's a reason I don't talk about my work too much, and it's not because I'm making some promise to myself or my company that I won't. It's because I don't want people to know how easy this whole process is. You want to save the earth? You say you want to make the world a better place for future generations? Well, you don't want to hear how easy it would be to do that. You want to hear about how bad it is so you can feel justified in doing nothing. The day I realized this job was easy was the day I knew something was wrong. The environment is not in good shape, but that's because people like me are good at our jobs. The planet isn't dying, it's getting ready to be reborn. And that's a good thing. But I'm playing a part in that rebirth, and so are the people that came before me, and the people who will come after me. It's a cycle of life on this planet, of which we are a part. If people actually took the time to understand that, instead of just using it as an excuse to not do their homework, we wouldn't have any problems. So if you're asking me whether or not to sign this petition, I don't know what to tell you. What are you hoping to accomplish? Do you want the government to buy up all the land? Do you want every business in your city shut down until the planet is saved? What does that mean and how would you even go about doing it? Would having people sign petitions really make a difference? Maybe, maybe not. But it doesn't matter because you're not going to get everyone to sign a petition, despite this generation's reputation for wanting to help out wherever they can. And if you do manage to get enough signatures that might actually make a difference? Well then, good for you. You just succeeded in proving my point. It doesn't matter what you do because the system is too broken to be fixed. I should quit while I'm ahead, but for whatever reason, I feel like I need to explain myself. Maybe it's because I haven't had a chance to vent all week. Maybe it's because I've trained myself to think in a certain way for so long that I can't stop, even if I'm in.